Umar Ahmed, IFL TV, MTK Global, I'm at the Peterborough Arena, joined by Anthony Fowler and I can see Leon McKenzie big man, there. Big L. <laughs> With the man. Right, let's just get straight into it, Anthony. What's yeah. been going on on Twitter? I think Scott's having a mental breakdown, I don't know, he's been sweet to me nonsense. Time and spell, like, like a six-year-old kid and um, it's just embarrassing, if I'm, if I'm honest, it's not like it's embarrassing, so the talking stops in four weeks, the first do the talking and see what happens. I've seen Mark Shaw uh, quote tweeted <laughs> him and said that someone might have hacked his Twitter account. Oh yeah, well me and Mark were talking, I thought, this can't be Scott, on the GB squad, Scott didn't say, say two words, he didn't shut up on that Twitter, so I thought it went in, maybe, and then Mark said something. I think it actually is in, but I don't know what's wrong with the guy. The end of the day, fish talk to the talking. You can talk what you want, but the end of the day, it's about you can fight. What's that thing you promote? CBD oil, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I think he was quite. He was uh, cutting that as well. <laughs> I mean, he's just cussing everything he can, mate. Do you know what I mean? He's trying to like give himself false confidence when the facts of the matter are. I'm a better fighter than him. I always have been. I always will be, and I'm. I'm gonna show him the night. Mm. You think should he train after this fighter? He's going to be a new fighter, but the reality is he's the same fighter he was against Craig Modest and he's not on my level. He's saying that it's your first real step up though and, and it's too early for you, etc. How, how do you respond to that? Mate, who's he boxed? I've boxed better kids than him. I'm, I'm ranked higher than him with everyone because I've boxed better kids. Not because I'm an Olympian, because I've boxed better kids and I've looked better. He's been pro four years and look where he is now, fighting me and he's the opponent. I'm the one expected to win. He's been pro four years, so. What does that tell you? And, do you know what happened to his CBD oil? <laughs> <laughs> Even he's mugging it now. <laughs> See? <laughs> the bomb wagon. Do you know what happened? I don't know if you know anything about that, do you? Nah, it's a little bit. So what, do you generally think uh, Fitzgerald's Twitter account was acting, or do you think nah, it was nah, him? Nah, I think it is him, but it's out of character. Like, I've known him for years, and he's never really been one to talk on social media. He hasn't, he hasn't shut up me, he's any time spell. <laughs> well, what was he saying to you, actually? Um, I mean, he said some explicit things, um, but what was the basis of the actual argument? What was going on? I don't know, you know, I'm not even too sure. I, I can't really get much sense out of him. I seen a picture of him in a car park with his top off, outside Morrison's or Tesco, and I thought, and he's putting on mad hashtag fuck father this and that. I, just, I messaged him saying, lad, calm down, we'll, we'll fight, calm down, and he just carried it on with it. Or, pathetic comments but it's just embarrassing like proper embarrassing do you think he's trying to get you emotionally involved i don't know what he's doing he's trying to do something but then there for a top world-class coach i'm a professional been boxing six eighty was it 17 years so next next month so like come on i'm not gonna go into the ring and start seeing the bread missing swing i'm gonna go in this is me coach do me game plan and i'm gonna take him apart mm. just a word on lee wood as well great performance from him commonwealth yeah, champ um, now made up for him um, he's waited patiently some nice body shots there, and um, easy win, he's a um, good fighter, Lee. Brave with some big fights now. Yeah. All right, Anthony, appreciate your time. We look forward uh, to March the 30th. Going off. <laughs>